If I was moving my company anywhere around the world, I would move it somewhere to this arc that spans Oxford and Cambridge. The government of healthcare and life science is at the top of their agenda at the moment. There's a commitment to grow investment as a proportion of GDP. So it's a very bright future in the UK and actually the investment in the arc itself will bring the cluster together in a way which will drive further innovation. I think globally there is an increasing recognition that there is something very special in this region. It's very hard to recreate elsewhere and so people and ideas and enterprises and investment um, will, will come here. Outside of the US there's no question that the southeast of England is the dominant biotech player in the world. Within the arc it's that spirit, it's that cross-fertilization of ideas. Although we're in the life sciences sector there are also other sectors around here which are very important so particularly crossover of things between digital, mathematics, IT, all those things bring together and come together to make an excellent uh, place to do R&D. It's very important to be close to the labs that are actually generating the original scientific discoveries and observations. The Boston cluster is close to Harvard and MIT. The California cluster is close to UCSF and Stanford. The Cambridge cluster is close to Cambridge. The Oxford cluster is close to us. So, so th those adjacencies are important. We can do a lot of the different pieces in vaccine development. On this campus, we have research labs, which is where we first develop um, new vaccines that we can start to test in the lab. We have a manufacturing facility, which is where we can manufacture the early batches of vaccines to go into clinical trials. We have a clinical trial centre where we can um, conduct clinical trials of those first batches of the vaccine. What we don't have the opportunity to do as a university is large-scale manufacturing of the vaccine. And if the vaccine is going to be licensed and used as the COVID vaccine is now, that's where we absolutely have to have a, a commercial partner. Uh, and we chose last year to work with AstraZeneca, who took over the large-scale manufacturing of the vaccine and worked with us to get the clinical trials done and get the vaccine licensed. The UK is important to us, it's a good market for us, but also it's a place where the government have made a huge commitment to R&D, and that's only been expanding, of course, as the current um, COVID crisis has proved. Researchers on this site discovered the structure of DNA and they invented monoclonal antibodies. And those discoveries have completely changed life sciences and healthcare around the world. My understanding is that of the 10 most valuable medicines in the world in financial terms. Six of them are using the technology invented uh, within a few hundred yards of where we're standing. The main benefit um, that I feel every day is that I'm in the presence of uh, incredibly talented individuals, um, both in the private sector and in the university. Innovation requires talented people from many different backgrounds and disciplines. And I think access to them, partly through the great universities across the Oxford Cambridge arc, is a really distinguishing feature. The ability to recruit global talent is key for an organisation like AstraZeneca. And the fact we've grown from over 2,000 in Cambridge to over 4,000 in Cambridge in three or four years is a testament to our ability to be able to recruit at that sort of level. AstraZeneca chose to relocate its global headquarters to this campus along with its global research hub. So AstraZeneca's move to the Cambridge Biometal Campus puts us in the heart of innovation. We have a combination there of the, of the universities, the research institutes, the private sector and importantly the NHS. The NHS is a massive asset for anybody who wants to build a business in the life sciences. The ability to access those patient populations for clinical trials but also to use their data to understand diseases better is a huge advantage. It's wonderful to see that the government has acknowledged the incredible opportunity we have in the Oxford Cambridge region. It has world-class, world-leading institutes, organisations and companies like ourselves and bringing in the clusters from Oxford, Milton Keynes and other areas uh, across the arc will actually increase the critical mass I think this part of the UK is probably second only to California and Boston in terms of places in the world that I would choose to create a new enterprise in, in life sciences. And, and I do think we are, we are going to catch up with Boston 
and Northern California um, over the next decade or so.